My name is Randall Barrett, R-A-N-D-A-L-B-A-R-R-E-T-T, and I'm an advocate for NoSmartMeter.org, and I'm here to help to bring the truth to the public so they can see that the civil power is lying to them and they can understand how these extortion fees are illegal. What about, what are the, what are the claims for extortion fees? So they originally had a $137 fee, which was for a future service, which is illegal. They dropped that since. But now they're threatening people with a $36 a month meter reading fee. Our base rates already include meter reading fees, and so they're falsely claiming right now they're getting all the revenue, they're reducing their expenses by reducing their routes and firing people, so they're getting all that money and claiming they have to charge people that won't opt out, that to do opt out, I'm sorry, they're going to charge them $36 a month, that's double billing, it's illegal, we're going to fight that, we're going to go to court and fight the OPC on this. And so then they have another thing they're doing, if people get bullied and they get that RF meter on their home, and now they're saying to take that off and put a less expensive meter on there, they're going to charge them $169 up front. They will not take it off until you give them the money and put, put on a digital computerized meter, which can also double your billings like the other things are important to doing. But this is extortion. It's illegal. We have to fight. People need to know that these fees are illegal. And it's cheaper to pay the opt-out fee now than it is to have your bill double when you get one of those computerized meters. You have to save your analog meter. There's so much more to this. People are being lied to about the RF pulses. They're being told it only pulses a few minutes a day and it only is idle most of the day. And that's not true. They're not telling you the truth. They actually pulse every few seconds, that high-powered RF pulse, 10,000 to 190,000 times a day, and it does emit over your home wiring. So people inside the home are being exposed to this high RF pulse radiation that's causing nosebleeds, headaches, or heart palpitations. So they're being lied to. They do have a fire risk internally, not hot sockets, not wiring. The meters themselves overload and can catch on fire, and they're pulling them from fire scenes illegally to hide the evidence. So what this comes down to, Andy, is that when someone's trying to force a computer on the side of your home, and they're trying to use illegal mafia extortion tactics, that should bring up big red flags. Something's wrong here. Who wants to have a computer that can control you put on the side of your house? Nobody. But they're doing it to extortion. We have to fight them in the court. So where are you getting the information that it pulses more than the They're not saying it doesn't do what we're saying. They're misleading you by saying it. they're adding up the micro pulses and saying it only pulses a few minutes a day. You, would, you can go online and you can see electrical engineers and people testing these all over the country and all over the world. They all pulse every few seconds. Uh, 10,000, even even, even the, the power company has admitted that they pulse 12,000 times a day, that they don't like to tell the people that they're misrepresenting. So this is the power saying that some of the information you guys are getting is outdated. Smart Actually, their information is outdated. We've had these new meters tested by electrical engineers like Bill Bathgate, and he says they were not properly tested against for surge protection. They are not surge protected, and they can be overloaded easily through power surge. We had it happen in Gold Hill. People are testifying that the sparks were coming out of the meter, and they're denying that. They, they pull the meters. They don't have, we can't prove it once they pull them. We have uh, fire marshals and insurance agents all over the country testifying that they're pulling these meters illegally off a of fire site so they can't be investigated to find the cause. So they're the ones fighting the truth. They're using the old science about the RF pulses. They're going back to what heats up cells. They're denying all the thousands of modern studies that show that non-ionizing radiation does cause DNA damage and red blood, blood blood cell damage and headaches and serious health harm. They're the ones not recognizing the modern science and they're denying it. We can prove it. I'd love to have a public debate with them. I can have all the scientists there with the information. I can debate them. And they can provide them with every bit of proof of what I'm saying. How many people do you think have been out here today? Oh, I think we got about 150 here today. Yes, we're growing in numbers, aren't we? We had about 60 at the Medford protest, and it looks like we got well over 150 in sort of today. So how does that make you feel that it seems like your numbers are being made? It's wonderful because public exposure and the public and the community coming together is how we're going to win this. We're going to get lawsuits. We're going to get Jackson County, Josephine County, and all the other counties to band together and to, to sue them. We need people to donate $5, $10. We need attorneys to come on board and to fight with us so we can fight the illegal actions of the PUC, and we can be the first state to reverse this action taken against us illegally. New Mexico, Kansas, Kentucky, and two other states, their PUCs have already rejected this because they allowed public input prior to approving it, and they denied all the power companies' claims as being false. But here, we had it done illegally. They did not allow public hearings. So we need the people to band together to sue them so that we can force that to be reversed and be the first state to get these smart meters kicked out of our state and go back to analog meters.